All right, good news is my latest update. I've removed the logic board. Here it is. Not going to be used. I'm just going to put it up here for now. Okay. As you can see, there's no logic board there. So the only thing turning on the iPad board right now is the Arduino. Okay. Then I have another Arduino here that's running uh, the EDID sketch that will send the EDID information to this computer right here. And so, in theory, I don't have to configure anything. So let's turn this guy around. Or set it up right. Oh, excuse me. Okay. It's plugged in right here. Now, in theory, all I have to do is short these two pins out. Oh, this is kind of sketchy here. Okay. Well, hold on a second. I'm going to plug this guy in. One, two, three. And I shorted those two out. CRT clonked on. Now I gotta send it the initialization code. And so I just have to reset this guy right here. Did a reset. And hopefully it won't make a liar out of me. Okay, there it is. It's a little slow to boot. It's an old computer. And there it is. Nice background. It's looking really good. I have to thank uh, Jamie for posting up uh, those codes he reverse engineered to control the settings on the monitor. I use that as a guide to tweak the initialization code to get uh, the colors just right and the brightness just right. It's looking really good. No logic board. So now my next step is uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll make a, a PCB. I'll do a printed circuit board that can just plug into the existing connectors there and uh, you know so there's very little modification to be done that would be a cool little project um, so maybe I'll do that in the next couple of weeks and then I'll put all the designs up online obviously I'll buy it and build it and test it first and anyone else who wants it you know they'll have it this is cool this is exciting now it's truly independent from the logic board